We uh, we um, we want to thank the committee. Don't don't sit on the bed at night. No homo. No, just just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first of all, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna. If we can, just let's let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even like. I don't want it to come close to the bed at all. I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should, I should. fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and. I mean, damn, pause, but like, just, uh, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early, and now he's one of the richest stars in the world, and I'm Yo, what the fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me, Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. Flakes, and we're streaming live. Up, that was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen, hey, yo. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. It's like, man, uh, that was just a little reminder. Uh, I played that clip before when, when I was uh, doing a video about P. Diddy. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's no... It's no speculation. It's no conspiracy about P. Diddy. Uh, um, and also, he's never denied the allegations that are against him. So, it's safe to say that P. Diddy is what he is. Um, and he can't keep a woman. But uh, also, um, I just want to pose a question. I, I want to pose a question to the audience. Uh, just want to hear your answer. Want to know what we looking like uh just want to check out the spectrum, check out the scenery, um, look at the landscape a little bit. I want to ask a question. At what age is it not cool for black men to die they her? At what age is it not cool for black men to die they her? Um, I'm going to get right into it. Um, me personally, I don't think a man or a child a boy child, I don't think, I don't think, uh, no, a boy or no, you shouldn't dye your hair at all. That's my opinion. But if we is going to try to throw the kids in there and, oh, he's just a cute little boy and he just, the other kids are doing it and, okay. But, okay, even if it's going to be okay for the kids and the rappers and, and, and the young generation to do it, I'm looking at a lot of these older cats, man. I'm talking about late 30s. Uh, early 40s it's too late bro uh this that's not your era bro um usher you came up in the late 90s 2000s bro if you wanted to dye your hair you could have did that shit when cisco done it bro uh speaking of cisco bro i i had never heard him do an interview bro cisco that motherfucker uh i'm just gonna say he didn't sound manly at all. Just gonna just gonna put it like that. Um, that sleeping in my bed, shit. <laughs> messing with my head, shit. Uh, it's a reason why it was another man in his bed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, and when he died as her, he did that for a reason because it's only a certain group of black men that died they her back then, and those were homosexuals who used to do that. And then it led to the rappers doing it, and because. I know y'all don't want to admit this, but rappers and athletes uh, and entertainers, all that, they um, they got this her thing going on, the uh, died her thing. A lot of athletes do it. Um, I, I just don't know. Okay, if we cool with it, I just want, is it is it somewhere where we draw the line? Um, is it somewhere? It, it, at some point, do we... I mean, can you dye your hair pink? Uh, just want to know. Uh, because Usher has went to... What that's... Is that called burnt orange? Yeah, that's burnt orange. Uh, and he got the gloves on. Um, and he's... he's. This is at a, a Paris fashion show. He's posing with men. I thought the men posed with two women on the side of him. He's posing with men... 
And um, yeah, I'm looking at these guys. Uh, the white dude got his uh, shirt cut off, uh, revealing his stuff. I just don't know. Um, and he kind of it's just a look. They kind of they look more like lovers than just colleagues. It just looked that way to me. That looked like some different shit. All I'm gonna say is Usher, um, bro. Uh, whatever happened to you when you was a kid, bro? You could have just left that shit there or got some counseling or whatever kind of help you think you need for that shit. Um, we all know you stayed with P. Diddy when you was about 13 and 14. And uh, we know what P. Diddy, P. Diddy is known for. Uh, he's known for taking advantage of young male artists, R&B and hip hop. Don't matter what genre, if you're a young black male, uh, he prey on you. And he said y'all used to wake up and fight over Frosted Flakes. Wake up in the bed and fight over Frosted Flakes and wrestle over them. And shit like that. Like, bro, that was some shit you was exposed to as a teenager that you should have never been exposed to. Uh, if you was going to come out gay, you should have came out. Yeah, when you dropped that, my way, my way, my way. Oh, bro, I used to fuck with you, bro. I'm talking about the 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop. Bro, listen, man. If you was gonna do that shit, you should have. You should have came out with it when you, when you said you remind me of a girl. You should have said you remind me of P Diddy or some shit. You should have came out then, bro. You waited twenty years after your career to finally come out with this shit that you're doing, bro. And so that's my point. Um, like. I just don't know. I'm looking at a lot of these dudes. I'm just looking at a lot of these older entertainers. I'm looking at a lot of these dudes coming out with these looks. I don't know if y'all trying to stay young or nothing. Or whatever it is. But. Just want to know. Um, is there a color limit? Is all colors acceptable? Um, yeah. What. Is you just supposed to do the tips? Because uh, I know that some of y'all just. You just color your tips and shit like that. But I'm talking about. I, I don't know. Is it just cool with dreads? Or I'm talking about these dudes with these tapers. And I'm talking about they shit is colorful. Lime green and shit. Uh, blonde and shit. I just want to know, bro, um, what we think about these colors. Is it, is it acceptable? And what age do you say, okay, uh, I'm a little too old for this shit? So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, Usher uh, with these gloves and these two dudes next to him, in my opinion, uh, he just letting it be known to the world what he always was and what he's represent. You know, I just think it's very cowardly. You motherfuckers wait till the LGBT make it safe for you motherfuckers to, and, and motherfuckers can't even talk about you too wrong or motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You wait till the coast is clear and shit, and now you motherfuckers want to be who you've always been. But all you doing is um, you um, all your followers, all the kids that follow you, you you encouraging them to be the way that you've always been. If you're going to be true to yourself, you should have been that way back then. So, yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.